What's up? I figured today I would break down my latest beat, which is a Lil Peep and Juice World type beat. So let's just get into it. The first thing I did was I laid down this pad chord progression. And the chord progression is in the key of A major, and it's a one, six, one, three chord progression. Uh, that's an A major chord, an F sharp minor chord, back to the A major chord, and then uh, it ends off with the C sharp minor seven chord. And I also added these notes here and here in the progression just to kind of spice it up a bit because just I I felt personally with just the chords it felt um kind of stagnant and slow and it needed I felt like it needed something else to kind of spice it up so I added those notes uh and this is what the chord progression sounds like All right, uh, moving on. I pasted those, I pasted that chord progression into this ARP. And it's exactly the same, except for this one here. It's still the same chord, only I spaced out the notes differently. So I inverted some notes and uh, spaced them out over the uh, keyboard differently. So that's what this one sounds like here. Uh, I added this bell. And it's just playing notes that are within the same chords that I played. So this one, this C sharp is in the F uh, minor, F sharp minor chord. And this E is in the C7, uh, C7 minor uh, chord. And the last melodic element that I had was this guitar, which is the main lead melody in the beat. And it loosely follows the chord progression. So that's what that looks like there. It looks kind of complicated. I, I started off with this. And then I kind of, I felt like that was too basic and I built on that and added these lower notes down here. So it sounds like this. And if you're just wondering what the original sounded like, so yeah, that's basically that. Uh, I added some percussion elements, so here's a perk. Added another perk. Added this triangle. This clap. I layered that clap with this snare because I felt like the clap wasn't punchy enough, but it had, uh, it was really fat, it felt like, but it didn't have that punch that I wanted, so I layered it with this. Um, I used this kick. Uh, 
Um, and then I use this 808 here. I actually, first I should mention, I copy and pasted the chord progression from the pad into a sampler channel. It doesn't play anything, but I just used the ghost notes as a guide for, uh, for where I could put these uh, 808 notes. So I just kind of follow the chord progression here. And I made this hi-hat pattern. And lastly, I added this open hat. And yeah, that's it. That's all that went into that beat. And this is what it sounds like all together. <laughs>